Welcome! In this video, I'll be constructing a break-even chart using the given information. First, we find the break-even point in units by dividing the fixed cost by the contribution margin. And that gives 45. The break-even point in dollars can now be found by calculating total revenue at break-even. And that gives 2700. To construct the graph, we plot units on the horizontal axis and dollars on the vertical. Now suppose for units, we have a capacity of say 110, then we can go as far as maybe 120. As far as we capture the break-even unit of 45 centrally. And for dollars, I can do a thousand per unit here to ensure the break-even dollars of 2700 is captured. So the break-even point here is 45 and 2700. Now the fixed cost is the same for any volume of production. So we draw a horizontal line for fixed cost here at 1575. For the total revenue function, we know that if we sell zero units, total revenue will be zero. So total revenue line is satisfied by zero, zero, and we pass through the break-even point. For total cost, when zero units is purchased, then total cost equals fixed cost. So the total cost line will start at fixed cost here and pass through the break-even point. Now, before breaking even, the total cost is higher than total revenue. So this region here constitutes losses. And after breaking even, total revenue is greater than total cost. So this region constitutes profit. And that's it. Thanks for watching.